What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about Demon Slayer, the new game that has come out. I want to try and do a review, almost a review in progress of this game. I have not beaten it. I do feel I've played enough of this game to give a, you know, valid and, and honest kind of, you know, response to how I feel about this uh, this game. You know, if anybody was on the fence about it or anybody, you know, trusts or don't trust my opinion, you know, what does Alex from Podcast Now say about it? So I want to talk about it uh, in this review-like fashion. So here's the deal. As I've said, before I'm not actually this game really falls into a category that you would think I would never touch it number one it's anime and I'm just I respect the heck out of anime I think it's uh, you know anime and even like manga is destroying normal you know like western comics which I'm completely happy with and uh, but I really don't t touch it all that much Yu-Gi-Oh I love Yu-Gi-Oh Pokemon you know these are you know the kind of the big ones but I don't go all that much in depth um, I have seen the Demon Slayer show okay season one and I have seen the movie so I'm, I would say I'm in I've liked it a ton ever since I first watched it and so that's the first part second part is fighting games I'm horrible at them they normally don't just jive with me in terms of the, the gameplay I kind of like and so again for for those two reasons you know this is a game I normally would never touch but as I've said in past videos there was a couple things drawing me to this game number one well obviously Demon Slayer and, and I really do like Demon Slayer and number two this is from the team that's made the Naruto fighting games which I do not I respect respect Naruto but I don't like Naruto and I have played all the games I've actually played I believe every single Naruto game that this team has made my cousin would buy all of them my sister would buy all of them and I would play them I would play the games with them so once I knew you know this thing was happening I was pretty much in there's not that much you have to do to sell me on it and so I guess to report back to you guys right after playing it here's what you need to know number one if you've played the Naruto games, you've, in a way, in a big way, played Demon Slayer, okay? The story is, the the, the, the campaign is literally the first season. Now, you know, maybe you, you hear that and you if that comes across to you as a negative. It's not. I do not mean that as a negative whatsoever. To be honest with you, I don't mind it at all. Um, if it's not broke, don't fix it. The show or, you know, what they already have done is really, really good. Just you know, kind of blend it into a game. Figure out what cutscenes and what scenes in general, I guess, you want to have as the cutscenes. Figure out the boss fights. Figure out if you're able to go through some areas. You're not able to go through others. You can play stuff through memories. And that's, again, that's a big part. Now, again, I didn't... I played the fighting aspect, and I watched some of the story of the Naruto games, but I didn't play, like, all of them start to finish. So I don't know what exactly they had, but, like, this game will have, you know, you have your story missions, and you play them, and there'll be, like, fights in between. There'll be boss fights. And then you can unlock, you actually find things in the sem, not really open, I wouldn't even say semi-open world, in the mostly linear fashion of the game, you can get basically memory fragments where you can play almost cutscenes that fill in a lot of the gaps. If this is your first time, like if, I, that's kind of why, right? The memory fragments that you can like watch back are a lot of the stuff from the show that wouldn't maybe make its way, to, or I guess wouldn't translate all that well into the game. It's too long, it's too like monologue heavy, right? Stuff like that, where they can kind of just condense it into... Uh, again, like kind of you're watching a short little presentation. So I think honestly that's fine. You know, if this is the first time, if you're a fighting game fan, you're an anime fan, and you've never watched the show, I think this is an amazing, true. I really do believe that an amazing substitute for the show. So I watched the show kind of late. I feel like I watched the show back in like April, May. I could, it could have been actually earlier than that. Actually, it may have been way earlier. I, it's somewhere around that time. But basically, I guess my point, it's been long enough where I remember it. I remember like the key moments. I even remember some of the smaller stuff. And you kind of get reminded when you, you know, play this game. But it's been long enough where I have no problem, you know, seeing kind of the same things again, getting into the character and being able to play as other characters, which is super cool, right? Not just Tantro, like that's awesome that's really cool so you know this again it, it, i guess it is a positive and a negative because maybe it doesn't come across great to some people but the story much like i believe how the naruto games did it literally is just a substitute for don't don't think they're gonna go off the beaten path which again maybe is a good thing you don't maybe want the game just inventing new lore and throwing it in their game and pretending it's real right they're following the guidebook the visuals is literally insane uh i mean it, it if you walked in, I would imagine, I, I kind of wanted to play a prank because my parents and sister came to town around the same time they were staying with us at the same time that I was, you know, that this game was out. I kind of, I didn't do it, but I wanted to just like have it on the TV, 
hide the controller and see who fell for it. So you fell for like, oh, you're watching the show. And my sister, you know, she loves Demon Slayer a lot. I think she would have figured it out, but my parents probably wouldn't have. So visually, the game is literally insane how good it looks and how just a, like a one-to-one -one ratio, you know, it looks to the actual show. Multiplayer is solid. I experienced a lot of lag, which is probably my internet's fault. I'm not going to blame the game, although maybe it's the game. You guys can let me know if you've experienced problems like that. And uh, I will say, you know, with the fighting, and I'll talk about gameplay last and as the, the main thing I do want to say, uh, lag hurts massively, specifically multiplayer for any game, and specifically fighting. And I would even argue specifically for this game because there is already, and again, if you play the Naruto games, you know this, there is a little bit of like an input delay between you pressing the buttons and then, you know, the game going. So here's what I want to say about the gameplay. I like it. I do. Overall, I would say this is a very solid game. And if you like Demon Slayer or you like anime or you like these fighting games, I would say get it. Okay? So you can stop the video right now if that's all you're looking for. But what I will say, just to critique it a little bit because I, you know i don't think this game is above being you know told that there's some problems here the gameplay much like the naruto is fine it's solid but i think it could be better um you are very limited in just the style of the gameplay like i said there is a massive input lag also a game like this you know like, I, I've pl I actually do play other, you know, fighting games. Like, I've played Mortal Kombat and the Injustices. I guess going off the beaten path big time, i played, like, Smash Bros. i played, like, PlayStation All-Stars. I have played a little bit of, like, Tekken and even, like, Street Fighter before, but I'm not, like, big into that. The thing with this one is you're really stuck in what you're doing once you press the, you know, the input into your controller, right? So, like, for me on PlayStation, like, say you just, you know, you mash square because you don't know what you're doing like me. And I actually, I feel like I do know combos or know how to keep myself hitting the other person pretty darn well. Like, I actually think I'm getting pretty okay in the fighting of this game. Uh, but, you know, once you get going, you are stuck. Like, there is one way, if, if you do not block the first attack, there's only one way of getting out of an insanely long combo from the other person that's by calling in your support character to kind of carry you away and you can only do that every so often because it's like a bar that has to fill up so you know it is a little bit different i would say like moral combat and even like really nether realm right they operate more on there are some insanely long combos you can get to but there's ways of breaking out of it if you're the other player and you know what you're doing for games like naruto and games like this there really aren't you are stuck in a animation both as the attacker and the you know person being attacked i guess right and you're stuck there until that kind of animation fully plays out and those hits kind of play out, which I would say I don't necessarily love. And also, I and again, that could just be like a skill thing. And I'm not saying I'm skilled. I'm saying like if you're more skilled than me, you may think I'm stupid. And that's totally fine. But I would say one other thing that I do think is valid is I feel like you learn everything about what your character can do in about five minutes. I, and, and I really do. I really do. And I don't like that. I would say that. My biggest uh, gripe with this game is you see, you know all the attacks. Now, whether you can pull them off, again, you know what I mean? Like, whether you can do a combo or figure stuff out, that's, like, that's the skill part that you can learn over time. But I do think, in terms of, like, okay, you look at, like, the moves, you know everything your character can do, you can figure that stuff out in one fight with one, you know what I mean, against one person. You know what just hitting the light attacks do. You know what doing, like, your water wheel, say, is like Tandro. You know what that does. You know your boost. You know your special power. All of that stuff. You know blocks. You know grabs. You know how to get the other character, your support character, to help you. You know how to switch to them in, in certain situations. So, like, you learn all that in one go. And, and maybe that's fine to some. Um, and maybe that's the way with all games. But I really, I don't know. I feel like... Going to Mortal Kombat slash Injustice, which is the games I've played, if you haven't noticed, is the games I've probably played the most in the fighting world. I feel like it takes a while to learn everything your character can do. Because there's so many combos your character can do, you probably can't learn it all in one fight. But who, you know, but like I suck. And I'm gonna, I'm, I'm not putting that on the game. Like, I know that. I am here to tell you that. You know what I mean? None of my gripes or even praise of this game has anything to do with my skill level of the game, right? That's completely separate. I don't, because I don't want to bash the game or bring the game down because I'm bad at it. I'm not IGN. I'm not Kotaku. I'm not going to get mad at Metroid Dread because the game's too hard for me, right? I'm, I'm going to blame myself unlike them. So that's what I would say. That's what I would say. I, I would say that is probably the biggest weakness is you, you, figure out too fast what your characters can do and i just don't feel like there's enough and maybe it's be also because of the show 
you know, that you can, you know, I mean, the characters can do so many different things, and they're, and, you know, even, like, Tanjo is, like, always learning new stuff. In the game, there's, like, that limit, which, again, is understandable, but I, I don't feel like there's all that much uh, in it, in terms of the gameplay itself. Everything else is, I mean, it's a it's a faithful retelling of, of Season 1. The multiplayer is solid, um, but, again, I just feel like there's a little bit more there, but I would say, you know, get it, maybe wait on for it to go on sale. I'm sure it'll go on sale, but if you're a fan of this game, you know, there's really, there's not a lot of these games out there, you know what I mean? And specifically this team that makes the Naruto games and now this, like, you know, it takes them a little while to make these games. So you, you don't get these like twice a year or something. So, you know, I, I think it's definitely worth it. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Make sure you guys are subscribed, bell icon turned on. If you want to follow me on any of my social media stuff, I have a Twitter, I have a second channel. We also have Patreon and YouTube memberships. Links for all of them are in the description below. Thank you for watching, guys, and I hope to see you all on the next video.